Hey guys, I'm back to show you something pretty big. I got a um, vacuum cleaner on Amazon to replace our Dyson. I paid uh, multiple hundreds of dollars for the Dyson and it's kind of on its last legs. There's a funny smell to it and the battery's dying way faster than it should. Not like it lasted that long to begin with. Anyways, I picked up a, a Musu uh, vacuum cleaner. It's, it's got 17 kPa sucking power, which is like f good for households. Um, that's on the max power, but it also has a low power mode at 10 kPa, which is for like lightweight stuff. Depending on which mode you choose, it can go between 15 minutes or half an hour. Um, and it's just like the Dyson, so I'm going to try it out. So let me go ahead and unbox it. I have a big box next to me right here. <clears throat> here it is. And let's get going. So this goes for $169.99 on Amazon, but there's like a $10 coupon right now. So if you're interested, jump on it. It's got perfect stars and over 130 reviews. All right. This is it, the Musu vacuum cleaner. All right. So it's the K17 series with Cyclone technology. Here's a stick adapter. Wow, this feels really sturdy. It's not plastic, it's like aluminum, or but it's super lightweight. It's a mounting screws probably for the charging base. Here's like a crevice uh, attachment right here to so like get between the seat cushions and all that stuff. One of these suction uh, adapters if you need like to extend anything. Here's a charging station right here. Here is a battery. And it's not that heavy because one of the things with Dyson's are they are heavy. Here's a mini brush head attachment. So these brushes will spin on the inside here. So it's nice and small for uh, smaller applications. Might be good for the car. Here's another uh, crevice attachment with a brush right here to pick things up and loosen things up. Here is a large motorized brush head. And I can tell you this looks just like the Dyson ones. Swivel and it's got uh, LED lights in the front too, which my Dyson doesn't have. So that's, that's pretty cool. A small brush attachment. Here's the filter. This thing has like a four step filtration system. So you have this cyclone, you have this honeycomb uh, set up right here, and you have uh, like this other mesh on the inside and, and this comb right here. And everything is washable so that you don't have to keep buying uh, new filters or anything like that. So let me put this back in. And here's the, here's like uh, with the main unit right here. Uh, it's a brushless motor and you can Google what that means, but basically uh, in, in English, it means less friction, less heat, longer life, better performance. Um, so that's what you can expect. So like if you go to Home Depot and you buy tools, the brushless ones are always way more expensive. Let's see if we can assemble this uh, without any directions. You put it like this, you line it up, and you churn. Okay, and it's one straight line, right? And then you can attach things to it, like with that mini brush, brush head. Let's, let's start with this one, okay? You just push it in. You hear that snap? That's it. You just push this to release it. Super easy. Swivels, right? And then let's put in the power, which I have not charged yet. So I may have to do that actually. So I didn't lock it, so I just wanted to make sure I locked it. There's a nice snap to lock it. And you can kind of see there's locks indica indicators right there. Let's make sure you're on lock. There's a trigger button right over here. Wow, it's pretty quiet too. There's a status light indicator right here. You can see it spinning right here. I can feel it. Yes. Oh yeah. 
Oh, that second power is strong. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Look at it. And look, I can let go. Look. No hands. On the Dyson, you have to hold it. Or else it doesn't work. I press it again, and now it's a strong suction. Oh my god, this is crazy. Let go. All right. That's super strong. Wow. This is pretty amazing. You know what? I'm gonna try it out. There's a dirty spot at the front of my house. I'm gonna push this to um, take out this. I'm gonna attach one of these babies right here. And I'm gonna use this bad boy. Yes, I am. Oh, look how easy that is. Here, come with me. Let's go over there and vacuum. All right, so here we go. Look how dirty this is. This is where we were walking to the front of the house and we have plants uh, all over the house, so it gets dirty fast. So let's go ahead and try this out. That's the low speed. It's, it's super quiet and you can see it spinning and sucking things up. Look how clean that is. That's just low. Look at that action. This is just low, mind you. And you can see the four LED lights right there. This is high. Look at that. You see the bristle spinning? And you can see how the head tilts as well. And you need to get to some like hard to reach angle. Look at this carpet here, it's so dirty. I can hear it working. It's picking up things that I don't even see. I don't think it's that dirty, but I'm hearing a lot of things. Look at all that stuff I just picked up. I didn't think this thing was that dirty. I mean, it doesn't look that dirty, the carpet, but look at all the stuff that I picked up. You see that? All right, so I'm outside right now because um, I don't want to open this inside because uh, my house is really messy, but uh, right here, this is there's a chute on the bottom for you to empty it so you don't have to dismantle the whole thing. You basically just pull and everything falls right up. Look at all that stuff. Oh. I didn't, like, jeez, our house is really dirty. All right, so I have my Dyson and the Musso side by side, and you can see the size comparison. They're pretty much the same, except the Musso is a little bit shorter, just by like a few inches. But otherwise, you can probably expect the same size. Oh, I can't even lift this. This is so heavy. Whereas this one comes up super simple. So this is a lot lighter, this is a lot heavier, um, and this is the one that we are replacing. I don't even know if this has batteries. Look how loud this thing is. And it's like blowing all this air back in my face. Like all this air right yeah. here comes back in my face, which I don't like. This one, when the air is over here and it blows to the side. Oh, you have to go here to empty it. And you can see like there's stuff stuck inside that won't come off. So you'd have to really get in there to get everything out. Whereas the Musu, I just opened the bottom and it's pretty much clean. All right, anyway, so the Dyson also has a higher speed. You know what, the battery died already. See, this is the problem. This is why we want to replace it. We love the Dyson. It works amazingly well and that's why they sell for so much and so many people buy it. But um, that, the Musu is a lot cheaper and we just needed uh, a replacement for now, so. Um, all right, check it out. Like I said, there's a $10 off coupon on Amazon, um, and we're pretty happy with it so far. We're not losing uh, any ground from the Dyson at all, and we look forward to using it a lot more. All right, guys, so I put my wife to work with this because she's the one that usually vacuums the home and has a better idea of you know how the 
Dyson works compared to this and she's a big fan of this. So here's, here's the feedback. So basically the Dyson has super strong su suction power. Everybody knows that and that's why everybody buys Dyson and that's how they can get away with charging so much money. Uh, however, this one sucks uh, pretty good as well for the price that this goes for. But the other positives uh, are more than make up for it. So, um, you know, this is easy on her wrist because it's not that heavy. She agrees with um, the fact that the wind doesn't blow back in your face with, and, and with the smell. I don't know if that'll come over time or not, but it, it's great right now. Um, the, she was able to just vacuum the whole entire first floor and this thing still has some batteries left. So that's pretty great considering I just opened it and gave it to her. I didn't even charge it. Um, but look at all this dust that that has accumulated, <laughs> right? These are things that you don't see until you start vacuuming. So in conclusion, she loves it. Uh, you know, for this price, you, I don't think you can beat it, uh, especially with the coupon right now. So do check it out. Um, again, I didn't even charge this yet and we used it for the whole first floor. It does take four hours to charge it and you can get anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes on high or maybe 30 to 35 minutes uh, on low. All right, and the other thing is you don't have to hold the switch. That is huge. Uh, the other thing is this is super stylish. Look at this. It's got like red on black. This is like anodized aluminum or something. It's very nice and it's got the LED lights which the other one doesn't. Um, and it's so much lighter. That's one of the main uh, draws to this. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.